What's up, y'all? I'm Sydney Park, and I play Makani, and there's someone inside your house. My superpower would be flying. I just want to soar. Every time I dream, I'm like, maybe this will be the night that I get to fly in my dream and feel what I feel, you know? That just, that'd be awesome. <laughs> My favorite way to relax is taking a bath. I am a bougie bitch. I love me a good bubble bath with a glass of wine, play me some jazz, and don't talk to me. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty good at keeping a secret. You can always count on me. Like, I'm not the one to gossip. I don't like, if someone confides in me and tells me their business, like, that's, that's between me and that person. Like, I won't share another person. I'll take it to my grave, is basically what I'm trying to say. My favorite song to sing in the shower or when people are listening and I know it and I just want to really let them have it is I Like That by Janelle Monet. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, my. I like that. My favorite comfort food, <sighs> pasta. I love pasta, all of it. I mean, cacio a pepe, spicy fusilli, like everything. I don't discriminate. I love pasta. <laughs> I feel the most powerful when I am able to give and receive love with my friends, specifically my girlfriends. Um, I just am so thankful to have this incredible tribe of women around me who support me. We support each other. We lift each other up. We also call each other out on on you know each other's bullshit. We make sure that we're okay, um, and that's something that I really learned to know about myself uh, is that I'm I'm a friendship person like I really I really love my friends they're my chosen family and that's something that really came to light during the pandemic especially um, I feel really powerful when I can be with my queens I honestly really love Halloween Horror Nights and when I was in middle school I was terrified still of the dark and my birthday is actually on Halloween on the 31st so, you know, I felt like it was my birthright to enjoy it, but it took me some time. And when I got into high school, I was like, oh, Halloween Horror Night sounds fun. And I also just love when my friends like throw different Halloween parties and um, I do miss trick or treating, but one day I'll have kids of my own and then I'll get to relive all those traditions. So that's fun. <laughs> Probably Pet Cemetery, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. That messed me up. The original, yeah, I mean, it's like that vision in my head when, you know, the guy's laying in bed and, and I think the original guy who died in the beginning comes back and he's all muddy and oh, it just, it chills me. Like every part of it is so disturbing. Um, and that's definitely at the top of my list. <laughs> Fans might be surprised to know that in there's someone inside your house, we had multiple masks for each person for each character. So we had the Caleb mask, Makani mask, but our special effects department was so amazing and our makeup department was amazing. They had to make at least like, you know, four or five versions of the mask in case it breaks. There were ones where, you know, our stuntmen could use it and it's okay if it falls and it breaks. There was another version where it's specifically for camera and it's meant to look like the closest possible to whatever character it's, you know, portraying. Um, so that that is a fun fact. Is it me? Uh, about friendships, uh, open your heart, Makani. That is the advice I would give to my characters, open your heart. And it was a really interesting role to play because in some ways I do that in my, in my real life where I'll push loved ones away if something happens and I can't really say what it is. Um, and that's something that really stuck with me when I, when I watch the film and I keep watching it is Makani's the vulnerability isn't there yet. And so I think if she just opens up her heart, it would help. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sydney Park and make sure you check out There's Someone Inside Your House on Netflix.